Hello everybody, it is your boy Twin Plays here, back in another video, hope you guys are doing amazing. So I know it's been just a bit, we left off with the Squid Game uh, tutorial and I'm so happy you guys are here with me. Um, so in this video we're going to be doing the Avatar Outfit Loader. Now, I know a lot of you guys are probably like, Twin, oh what is this video came from? This came from a few people who are commenting about doing an Outfit Loader. Now I don't really know um, why, but they just kind of wanted me to. There's these games out there where you can load out your outfits and check out what people wear and then you can also try them on yourself so it's actually pretty cool i mean makes sense but um yeah so i made the complete full game for you it is ready and working um now there's a lot you got to do in this tutorial so feel free to just pay straight close attention to this because guys there's a lot you got to do and it is outside of roblox and inside of roblox now um first things first first is if you are new to my channel feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on that post notifications it means so much to me guys and i truly am so happy um, also, while you're at it, feel free to check out the Discord in the description. We do do giveaways in there, so if you want, you can feel free to join that. Um, and I do help out people when we talk with people in there, and it's, it's a lot of fun. But, um, yeah, so I know you guys are probably like, Twin, okay, what did you do for us? Well, I created a few things. So I'm actually just going to hit play here, and we're going to look at this. Um, it's just a basic uh, script for this, and this is all uh, websites and stuff doing this. But um, this is what it's going to look like when you spawn in. I know it's pretty big, and, you know, you guys are probably like, Twin, oh, what's this and this? Oh, I got to fix that. That's always on top. I'll fix that. Um, but basically what you do is you will click this button right here, and it will basically ask you to request your user's avatar. You're going to just click inside here. And let's do mine for a change so when we type in my name my full name and then we hit the request button it's going to take a second but it will load all of my avatars now i know you guys are probably like whoa twin okay so this is actually going to load every single damn avatar yes it will now there are i think 40 avatars you can have maximum i don't know how many exactly but it leads all the way down to where they max or maxed out on roblox as you can tell we have current player and then it says to puts my name and the avatar icon so that's the cool part that i just did and added that um and then of course you have all the outfits so yes i can click all of them and get all of my outfits and the cool thing about this is it does do animations too which is awesome so i these are yes these are all my outfits you guys i remember i made this a long time ago so i thought it was really funny but um this is basically what it looks like <laughs> i got the girl outfit right here um and yeah that's that's basically it so Yep, this is what it basically turns out to look like. Of course, I got a little Ninjago one, but um, yeah, this is what it looks like. And of course, this is the maximum one that comes to the end. But um, I do remember this Ninjago, Ninjago one it was pretty funny. But yeah, so this is all it is. And then, of course, if I type in another name, which I don't really know another name. Actually, I have one person. This is my all account. Um, don't don't ask questions, you guys. Um, then it will load my outfits for this guy. And there are barely any, as you can tell over here. I don't have that many. Let me go check it out. Um, yeah, I barely have any. It's just like a all account for a stupid thing. But um yeah this is this is what it turns out to look like <laughs> but um yeah you guys so now that we have that finished let's actually hop right into this um you're gonna be looking at all the scripts in the description now first things first i just want to say quickly this was made by lucas um mz and i did update it a bit with the uh, gui and a few of the things just building wise so he did make this so you're gonna go check him out um it's pretty easy and i'll just leave this all the links in the description but yes he did make this and i'll show you why but i'm gonna quickly show you what we're gonna do so first things first is you're gonna create and make sure you have an email that is the first requirement of this is having an email so then once you have an email let me just pause this video and we're gonna hop right into this okay so now that we have uh basically google open you're gonna make sure your email you're in your email now i'm gonna be using my uh, uh twin plays official gmail.com um basically pretty simple and it's easy but um then what you're gonna do is you're actually just gonna click right here and it's gonna bring you to this and this is for google only guys by the way so if you're not using google it won't work so make sure you have google and you can just download it from the internet whatever you want to do you're gonna click this button right here it's gonna be drive now google drive has everything in there you can do google docs and everything with it so it's pretty cool and pretty simple but um from there you're actually gonna go and get google app script now i am gonna be leaving a dev form in the description and showing how to do all this too but this is more of a new version and how to use it so you hit new and then you go to more once you go to more now i know it says right here but don't click that yet you're gonna hit connect more apps once you hit here you're gonna search right here for google oh, let's see uh google apps script once you search google apps script it's gonna pop up right here you're gonna click it and hit install now that i hit install you're gonna hit continue and it will ask you to sign in then sign in you're all good and basically that's all you need to do hit done and go back 
Now what you do is you go to new, go to more, go to Google Apps Script, and there we go, it opens our new Google Apps Script. Now this is basically JS and GS, which is basically a uh, programming language, and we are basically gonna be entering the JavaScript code um, for this. Now, you guys can pause the script, the thing on screen and do this, or you can look at the paste bin in the description on what we're gonna be pasting in. So this is what it's gonna turn out to look like, and that's about it. Um, once you have that, make sure to hit the save button right here. Name sure to name this and just call it uh, Outfit Loader if you'd like. Um, you can do that. There we go. Then all you got to do is hit Publish. Now this is going to be the Deploy button right here. And once we deploy it, all it's going to work for us. So we're going to hit Deploy. New Deployment. Once it says right here, you're going to select Type. Web App. And then you're going to get this right here. Now you can actually just uh, do this right here and only myself. Make sure this is changed to anyone. New Description. Just change this to, um, uh, you know, you can say outfit loader v1 if you'd like, and then you hit deploy. Once you hit deploy, um, we're going to hop right into studio, but quickly just wait for this to update and it should load. Um, as you can see, it says loading data, um, but once this is there, you're going to hit authorize access, hit sign in one more time. Once it, if it does pop up this, guys, don't worry about it, just hit advanced. Go to Outfit Loader, then hit Allow, and then this is it for you. So we're going to save this, so what I want you guys to do is just put this on another tab, and I'm going to pause this, and we're going to go straight into the actual tutorial. Okay, everyone, so now that we're loaded in, we're going to be doing one simple thing. We're going to go into the description, and we're going to look for the model called Player Outfit Loader. You're going to be getting this right here and you're going to click this right here to claim it. Once you do claim it, then you are able to import this in your game. So make sure to click this and it should say item owned. Now you're going to just get rid of that and you're going to go to your Roblox studio and load in right here like I have it. You're going to go to toolbox. You're going to go to inventory and it should just be the first one right on the left right here. You're going to click this and it's going to load in this big, big, big box. Um, so that's all we need to worry about. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to move this. And we're just going to move it wherever, you know, wherever you want to move it. doesn't matter, really. Um, I'm going to move it right here just for the fun of it. And we're going to do a few things. We're going to go to replicate. We're going to ungroup these in where they need to be. So replicate storage, server storage, starter GUI, workspace, and server script service. Then you're going to just do that. And you're going to just click on them and do control U or just, just right click and do that for you. So there we go. And bada boom, bada beam. That's all you got to do. Then you're going to just click here and you're going to hit publish. And once you do publish your game, guys, make sure to go to game settings, go to security, and make sure to turn on HTTP request or the studio access to API services. Um, you don't need this. Just make sure to have those two on and that's about it. And there you go. You are done, basically. Now, all you got to do is really just um, play the game and test it out and you can see what it looks like. But we're going to explain quickly what we did and everything about it. So... The only thing you really have to do, concluding from uh, the script wise, you're going to go to Proxy Roblox API. This is the main one right here. You're going to load into this. And you are going to put your script ID right here, which is going to be um, this right here. So you're going to go to Outfit Loader on the other screen. And you're going to copy this right here. So make sure to copy this. And this is going to be your Outfit Loader ID. So copy that. And you're going to just get rid of this. You don't even need it anymore. Put it right here. And paste it so there you go that's it and you're done so that's all you really need to do guys that's it that is the super simple stuff um talking about the scripts we can kind of go into this in a second here but that's it um that's all you really needed to do um now if you do have a problem with the guys loading and they don't load exactly from right here then just move your map around to where they load uh sometimes that's been happening for some reason i don't know why but um that's about it and the main gui is basically just a simple little script for um opening the gui making it visible not visible and then we have the request button which is going to send the request with the invoke server and it's going to ask to request and once it gets request, we are going to go, oh, let's not do that. Once it gets request, we are going to go into um, the 
uh, avatar loading script and it's going to check if the player requests if there are more than one request then we are going to do the whole thing of displaying the name the images and the basically all the outfits so this is where we do the outfit loading and of course we do the check player for the request and we wait a second and put in queue user on list user does not exist now you can also i might add more later on with uh, put into queue and already on list and doesn't exist as in saying on a board another board but i think this is all you really need for now um, a lot of the other games are kind of detailed and fun so you can go ahead and edit it all you like but this is what i did and i hope you guys did enjoy this video um, if you did enjoy this video feel free to subscribe comment like and share you guys it means so much to me um, that's about it that's all you really have to do and um, yeah i hope you did understand what i was doing through here and i hope you did enjoy this video i will see you in the next one guys peace out and let's get to 11k